What's up, team? Um, so I'm kind of riding the high right now, and it's not because something good happened, um, which I think is really interesting. Um, I just... I don't know if it was necessarily... Like, I... I got rejected, and whether personal, professional, uh, familiar, it doesn't really matter. Like, I was rejected or wasn't accepted, or however you want to take that. But I'm really happy about it because I tried. I tried something. Um, you know, being in the film and TV industry, like, we get rejected all the time. In fact, what, if you book one out of a hundred jobs, like that's really, really good. Which, you know, to other people are like, oh my God, why would you try a hundred times only to succeed once? Well, there you go. And it, like, I'm just, I'm, I'm elated right now. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm like, ah, man. But also I'm like, ah, man. Ah, um, really weird feelings right now. And I, it just happened. So I was like, well, shoot, I should probably like come up and record this because I don't, I don't want to lose this. And I want to like keep, keep in that high while I can like provide some context because whether it's business, whether it's, uh, relationships, whether it's, uh, fitness, like you have to keep trying, you have to keep putting yourself out there. Um, you know, in fitness, you don't just work out once and then all of a sudden you have all the results. However, in school, we're given standardized tests once, and then it's like, okay, you did the test, now you, boom, that, that information is now out of my head, but I got one shot at it. And then that sets us up later on in life to go, oh, well, I tried one thing, why didn't it work? Oh, well, then there must be something wrong with me, and now I'm in this position where, like, I'm... Like, oh, I'm the problem. Not the test was the problem or how I went about it or this, that, the other. No, it's like I now I am – some people could internalize that as, oh, there's something wrong with me. When in actuality, it just takes more time. It takes more effort. It takes more tries. Um, you know, in, in film and TV, I've been rejected thousands of times. But I've also been on The Walking Dead. I've been on The Vampire Diaries. I've been on Doom Patrol. I've been on Black Lightning, which most people are like – wow, that's really awesome. And like, yeah, it is. But how many hundreds of other massive projects have I not been on? And so when, when we put it into context like that, when we really start thinking about like, oh my gosh, it just takes more time. It takes more effort. It takes more tries. Like my business, I'm three and a half years in with Buckingham Fitness and barely a year in with the Bucking Fit Life. And I'm just starting to get like, Oh, that's what I should do. Oh, I could do that instead. Or, oh, I could. And, and don't get me wrong. Like the first time I put something out, I was like, all right, this is going to, this is going to hit. And then it doesn't hit. And then it's like, oh my gosh, like there's something wrong with me or, oh, people don't like me or, oh, they don't think that I know what I'm talking about. Or, and then especially in the subjective world of film and TV, it's like, oh, Maybe it's my face. Maybe maybe my chin's too big. Maybe my eyebrows are too thick. Maybe my head is just shaped weird. And I think it's a really important lesson to like to keep trying. Like, I, was I rejected, let go, gone in a different direction? Sure, sure. Like, however you want to, however you want to phrase that. But now I know like where I can go, like where there was this open path of like, oh, I could go this way. Well, no, like that, that is a possibility that isn't there right now. Maybe it's there in the future, it doesn't matter, but it's not there right now. So it's like, oh, okay, cool. I can let that go and now I can like move on. I, now I can like, oh, well, cool. I'm going to go do my thing then. I'm going to go do this thing instead. Or I'm going to go focus on this project or I'm going to go focus on that in like, wow, like I tried. Holy shit, I tried. And as someone who growing up was such a people pleaser, like I did everything in my power to be everybody's best friend, which is also part of the reason why I didn't really belong anywhere. Like I could get along with everybody because I could just kind of be like a chameleon and like mold and mesh and weave and, you know, vibe with wh whomever. 
but I either A, didn't honor myself, or B, I let other people control how I would act. And as I've like started to pull more away from that, like don't get me wrong, I still want people to like me, but I don't care nearly as much as I did before. Like, if you don't like me, it's no skin off my back. Like, I would prefer it if you respected me. But if you don't, well, then you're someone who I don't really need to be around or want to be around or have any desire to be around. And so for myself, like, did I lose others or did I find myself? And I'm just like, man, I, I, was, I was brave today. I was brave today. I did a thing that scared me. And this is something that I, I had wanted to um, try in fear of rejection, but try for some time now. And like, oh, okay. But I tried. And you know what? I'm proud of myself because, and I'm even more proud because this is my reaction. Because I could like wallow and be like, oh my gosh, there's something wrong with me. But it's like, man, you know what? I, I can be happy for myself. I can be happy for others involved. I can be happy for other um, situations happening because if this thing, this project doesn't work out or this thing doesn't work out, then it's like, okay, cool. But then what will? And it's, and it's one of those, like, I like, sure. It's a scary thing where it's like, yeah, it's unknown, but like, it's unknown. Which allows for like so much possibilities. I'm saying like a lot right now and I don't like my, I, I dis, mm, no, I can't say dislike because that's, just, I am unenthusiastic about that. Anyhow, I wanted to share this. I'm just like, I'm over the moon about it. I'm so proud of myself because I have been so in fear of what other people think. And as I've been putting the, the seminar together in my last video, I talked about the, the it's called Get Bucking Fit. Yeah. Um, but it's a free seminar and I hope that people attend whether in person or virtually it's, there's so much information in it and it's free. Um, but people tend to think, oh, if it's free, well, then it must have no value at all or it's free. So it's not going to be like extremely thorough or what, honestly. So rather than think that I'm like, you know, what? I'm just gonna do it for free because the people that know what I have to offer will be there or they'll share it or they will promote or whatever it is. Um, and those that will miss out will hear about it because it's going to be that valuable. Um, oh man, I'm proud of myself. I don't always get to be proud of myself. I'm way too hard on myself. And there are a lot of things that I am unenthusiastic about myself, but not this, not this right now. I like myself right now and I'm going to hold on to that. <laughs> yeah. That's all I got. That's all I got today. Um, dang. Go me. Woo! Do try, <laughs> just try. Oh man. I hope you all have a great day. I know I did. I am. I'm having. Oh man. I did the thing. All right. Bye.